Hey, this is Swaggers doing Skylanders Imaginators, and we're right here in the first level Cradle of Life. Uh, we're going to go for all the objectives except speed. You kind of need to do that on its own. I'm sure if someone has a super high level Skylander or if you're playing in co-op, you can probably get it done. Um, I always make sure music is off, just make sure we don't get any strikes. But the thing to note is when they tell you you need to get to all the areas, that's the name. Like right there, we're on the Primordial Plateau. So although there are side areas that we want to get to to get bonus money, and here is our first uh, treasure chest. Um, they don't actually count as areas, so they're not actually required. But we're going to go get them anyway just to kind of show you the full level. I will say I'm a little bit disappointed in this game. Um, I've been playing Lego Dimensions, which I, one, I love Legos. Like right here, this isn't considered a different area, even though you want to go down there to get the money. Um, but I've been playing Lego Dimensions, and what's nice about Lego Dimensions is, you know, they, they did something new. One, there's a lot more abilities so that areas can be locked and unlocked. Whereas this is still the same, you know, the same old game. Um, making your own character, I think, is actually a detriment to this game. Because it's still based on... Um, senseis are still required to do anything really cool. And those are the ones that obviously cost 15 bucks each. You're getting one character for $15. And the other thing is that... You only get, um, you can only get one thing ever. When you get, when you make one of those crystals, when you decide I'm going to be an undead, um, you know, brawler, that crystal is locked that forever. That's the only thing. So that's, you know, it's a little disappointing for that sake. And the other thing LEGO Dimensions does is... So here's our first uh, soul gem for Ambush, Nature's Revenge. And we're not going to look at that. But Lost Ledge, so this area you do need to go to to get the completed. And you also need the soul gem for the collectibles. But again, LEGO Dimensions um, has, you know, three areas on the pad. So there's gameplay in the pad also where you have to switch things. And this is just, I mean, this is just Skylanders again. There doesn't seem to be, there's there's individual levels for each sensei type. But there's, inside the level, there doesn't seem to be anything interesting that really matters. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm just getting started in it. Maybe it'll get better. We'll see. It looks good. I mean, it, it looks good. The game looks good. And I, I, I like the game. They're fun. But it just seems like they've gone even more basic than before. I just don't see why you would buy multiples of different characters. Okay, so these are um, shrines. So you want to put all, all your brawlers. And obviously they start with the one that comes in the starter set. So Kingpin. But each different brawler would get a different ability here. This is how you get your right trigger ability. So you need to do this for each character you have. If you get a character later um, and come back, then you'll need to come back and play this level again just to get the ability. So boom. And it's not going to tell me what it is because I'd previously gotten it. But it shows you all four. Any of those brawlers you would want to do. I shall reign supreme. So I will say this is my second playthrough of the level. Um, just so that I could uh, find out where everything is. Which... As its negatives, the one being that I don't see that ability come up. 
because I've already gotten it. But again, if you have any brawlers, you want them all to do that. Golden Queen here is a sorcerer, so I haven't found that one yet. And nice little experience boost that I walked right past, but then got it. Maze of the Mind. So now, <coughs> excuse me, so now instead of like alternating paths, like you can't go down here unless you have a brawler or something. Now it seems like they've gone to just that certain things are more powerful than other things in certain areas. And then there's one level um, per... In, in the main hub for each sensei type. Sensei type. So I, I don't know. It just seems like there's less levels over, overall. Yay! And there's less things to do. You are so obviously the secret here is when you get to a new area, get the collectibles before you hit the button to switch it. Uh, that's just health, so you don't need to grab that if you haven't been hit. And we're going to come up on our first gong battle. Each level has a gong challenge, which is just a very close, tight-knit uh, battle with quite a few enemies. Um, there actually is an achievement for completing this one without being damaged, uh, which I'll do a little later. And then just like previous Skylanders, you need to pick whether you're going to do the top or the bottom path. And then you are locked to that. Now that has a nice ring to it. So I don't have, I don't really use a lot of my abilities here, but she has a nice ability that can uh, jump freeze. So I took some hits there, and then she also has a turret that she can use to do some damage. Um, so obviously I didn't do this optimally, but. I feel like this game seems to be a lot. It seems to be a lot easier too. I remember the previous game, and I'm, I haven't unlocked Nightmare Mode yet. Maybe that is a lot harder. But I remember the previous games. You know, you'd you'd have multiple characters because you felt like you needed multiple characters. Like if something happened, you'd want to have those other characters available to switch in so that you could finish a level. Whereas this game just, I mean. Again, I'm only two levels in. Maybe maybe the next time I'll be begging for it to be easier, but we'll see. Okay, so we're going to get a bunch of, um, of soul gems and things in this area. So this one you just need to hit all of the floating... Circles there, collect the discs. Again, they added they added um, you know racing in the last one, and it's just it's tacked onto this one. They're pretty much like, hey, if you have those, we're gonna let you use them, but we're really not putting any stock into racing again already in this next next version. Okay, so we'll, we got our our next soul gem here. And and first up here is a treasure chest. But what we need to do is see that one on the left there? We're going to go forward and then we're going to come back. And there we go. And that is Barbella's Taken for Granite. Remember, one of the challenge circles is to not die. Again, I'm, I'm playing on Expert, and it's not really much of a challenge. The one thing that's... <coughs> excuse me. One thing that's nice is that they do hand out these um, Imaginites quite a bit. You're, you're constantly going to be getting new stuff.
So here is the legendary selfie frame for Sorcerer. We can use that back in town. And then there is a soul gem for Sorcerer Imaginator. So this is something you can add to one of your created characters. Pretty much, we just need to go down every single place if you want to get everything. The kill enemies on this is 25, which is not a lot. All these little guys count as enemies. Okay, just drop down, and here is another Imaginite chest. A lot of it's common. Um, what's nice is I haven't seen any um, duplicates. I don't think you get duplicates, which is something that I've always thought should be the case in all of these games. This Call of Duty, Gears of War, you should never get duplicates. ancient place guess that's because the ancients invented it huh but if you can focus that power you might be able to make a bridge with it yeah, learn about a little new power And there's our final treasure chest on the left there. Um, we're not going to get the popcorn because we don't need any health. But it's there if you need it. Oh, yay! But we'll always take money. Okay, and we're coming up on our first boss battle. And there is... This is a snail challenge. Seems to be one a level. Which you're just... Following and picking up snail imaginite, which apparently imaginite comes from snail butts. I learn something new every day. I wish I haven't found anywhere that shows all, and maybe that's because I haven't actually made someone yet because I didn't want to get locked in. Um, but I, I I haven't seen anything that shows like everything you can get. So I've gotten a lot of stuff, and I want to know, like, when I get all the common stuff, is it just going to move me into rare stuff, or is it just going to be like, no, you don't get those anymore? Chaos. Okay, so every battle now is three stages, and what you do is you're going to remove one of their pieces of gear at every stage, and then at the end, when we get the chest, 
you're going to receive the three pieces that you knocked off and then like their catchphrase um, something like that and at every stage chaos will be like oh hey look I found another power and they'll do something different like this time um, he's shooting the electricity bolts And then now he's going to shoot out a little bolt that um, will kind of follow you. And then it gets a little faster. But it, then it goes in a straight line, so it's, it's pretty easy to dodge. And then the final stage is he's going to be adding some of the little... Uh, small enemies to come after you which is why having the turret is nice because the turret takes care of those chaos mind magic disrupted Almost done. God, Golden Queen is slow. Defeat. Okay, so I've already done this. So the chest is going to have um, slightly different rewards. It's just going to have random rewards. But like I said, when you do it the first time, you're going to get that enemy's catchphrase, catchphrase start and catchphrase end, and then three pieces of gear that they use. Oh, chaos. You're so silly. Well, there you have it. That is level one. We'll be doing the uh, next level soon, and then we'll try to show some of the um, sensei levels from the main map and maybe some of the um, collectibles. But here's what I got on a second run through New Leg Guards. But like I said, I've never gotten anything um, repeated, which is amazing, which is a, a good thing. And the rarities are common, rare, epic, and ultimate. And then there's a lot of armor sets. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. And here's me getting all of the collections, except for uh, Speed Run, which is uh, nine minutes. We'll do that separately.